Hello and welcome back to UK Tool Talk. Blooming heck, it's hot out there. Well, in the UK anyway. And I hope you're staying hydrated. That's the most important thing for tradies. Have a water bottle with you. Anyway, what we're chatting about today. Well, I've been to the hardware store today and I spotted this little item. This is an Armeg Twister Impact Masonry Bit. So this caught my eye because mainly, the first thing I saw was the Armeg, I love it. It's a UK company and they make some fantastic um, drill bits. And also, I've, I've done a little bit of a review of this before. But this is my little Armeg mini socket set. It's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, so we'll get this out. First, first things of first things of note before we get any further. I like the packaging. This is wow, paper packaging. That's it. Yeah, we love that. The UK Tool Talk. We love paper packaging, not plastic paper. So let's get it out of the. The packet. It's a weird little thing, isn't it? Weird. It's got a really fat bit there. And then it's got really, really twisty, coarse twist there. Presumably that's for um, to get rid of the debris when you're drilling. The end bit, if I can get to focus. Yeah. It's quite sharp. It's been sort of ground down the end after the tungsten bit's been um, brazed on. Okay, we're going to give it a test. So I've got my Makita TD173. Now this isn't the copy one. This is <laughs> like you can be able to tell any Makita um, fanatics out there will be able to tell this is the proper OG TD173. So we'll pop this in the chuck. Very tight, bloody hell. Are you joking? <laughs> After a bad start. Oh my neck. That's, I can't. <laughs> well, yeah. I've got the bit in. I had to bloody grind some <laughs> off it. Now, Straight away, this isn't a fantastic um, advert for this drill bit and for Armeg as well, but I'm just, I think, I think it'll just be a blip. It'll just be a blip, but you shouldn't really have to. Yeah, it's still. Oh. Bloody hell. Well, this bloody video is going a bit wrong already. I've managed to get it in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit of a fail, that. You shouldn't, shouldn't be like that. Anyway, we'll give it a go at drilling. Now, normally, before we start, I wouldn't do this um, kind of drilling into masonry or brick or whatever with an impact driver. I've never bloody done it. So I'm a bit green to this. If I'm going to drill into um, this block here or something similar... Just 5.5 mil drill bits, you know, infrared plugs. I use this. This is my 12 volt Makita drill. It's a combi drill, so it's got a hammer setting on it. Percussion drilling, obviously, for this. It's not a. Um, I have got a small STS, which I think I reviewed um, a couple of months ago. But um, yeah, this is just a percussion combi drill. But we're going gonna, gonna to drill a hole with that. Um, but we're going to try it with drilling into masonry. Well, drilling into this concrete block with an impact driver so obviously impact drivers have got the anvil and the hammer and it skips it has a hammer action kind of but it's sideways but it will give it a little bit of forward sort of hammering as well anyway without further ado Bloody hell, it's pretty good. Wow, yeah, I'm impressed. Well, yeah, no problem at all. You could tell it was when it was slowing down a little bit, it was just hitting something really hard in there. So, um, what we'll do is I'll have a go with the 12 volt here and a 
to start off, we'll just have it on um, drilling and not have the hammer on. So check this out. Well, I know I've gone further further in, but it's a lot slower. Try it on hammer. Should be better on hammer. We'll see if I'm getting them running at the same time. So the one on the, the right is my 12 volt plumber drill, and this is the 18 volt impact driver. Try and get it lined up. Hang on. Three, two, one, go. Hmm, I think this will beat it, actually. Oh, I can't, I'm gonna do some more, I'm gonna do some more. I really like it. Right, we're gonna press on really hard and see if we can get the, the sort of the hammer action working. No, not really. Yeah, so it says on the packet that your concrete is too tough for this. It said, do not use it on reinforced concrete, which is, is a, I think this is an old lintel or something. But we're gonna try it anyway and see how it performs and see if we can get the, the sort of the impact bit going a bit better. So. I'll just try one, just taking it easy. No, it's not even going to, no, no chance with that. I'll just try my 12 volt, I'll um, combi drill on, put it on hammer, yep. I think that's proved it. If you have to go into concrete, either use an SDS or a percussion combi drill. Yeah, so this is the 12 volt um, combi drill and you can obviously get LXT 18 volt combi drills as well. So that's done all right on the concrete. But this little new arm egg bit, yeah, it was amazing on the block work and I presume if it's kind of softest brick, it'll still be pretty good. I was asking a bit too bloody much, thinking I'm going to drill into concrete, a really, really dense concrete, that. But overall, overall, um, not sure. Not sure about it, really, but I bet I can't get the bloody bit out now. Well, I can. It's loosened off a little bit. So it wouldn't go in the drill, but I think that was just a blip, a casting blip. A ho blip. I hope they don't have too many of that because it'll piss people off. But the way it went into the quite dense concrete block, it was impressive. So if you see him knocking about, our um, my twister impact and masonry bit, check him out. Um, now then. Ugh. It's that time again with my rating system. Am I going to call this um, rad or rubbish? It's so hard. It's so hard to pick, really. Uh, it's not quite rad. It's not rubbish, but because I wasn't fair saying, I can't say it's rubbish because it wouldn't fit in the, the drill because it must be just a one-off or something. But um, I'm going to say, instead of saying, <laughs> instead of saying um, rubbish or rad, I'm going to say random. Random is, random is good. Not random is rad. Random is good. So there you go, check it out. Okay, see you next time on UK Tool Talk.